Hey everyone, how's it going? JP, JP's Tech Back in. Anyways, this is what I was talking about. The artificial sheepskin. It's flexible in one direction. Back and forth this way. It probably has, I don't know, about a one inch give. So what I'm going to do is put it across the seat this way. I'm not going to do every step of this and I don't have to take the seat off because I'm only doing the flat pot and I'm wrapping it around the back and around the front and it's getting stapled underneath this pad. I just got to loosen that piece up and it will go right under and I can staple it down. So we'll do a walkthrough on this. Well, maybe I'll do a little step by step, but I'm going to keep them all short steps and we'll see how it looks when I'm finished. It actually looks just like the sheep fur. I was very surprised. They had a couple different types. One was a very long hair, and then this was the shorter, tighter one. I had to go with the gray because they were out of stock on the black, and they didn't have a green. I would have liked to gotten like a military type green, so I figured the gray would look the best. So, all right, let's get on to it. Okay, here we are. As you can see, things are starting to take shape. Uh, the glue took really good. Better than I expected. Uh, it's still got a lot of tightening to do on it and tucking, tightening, all that good stuff. But just a quick look at where I am right now. Okay, so where am I now? I'm home. Where am I on this job? Okay, so I tried to use as little bit as possible minimal glue. And it only needed a few spots over here and I just wanted it down over here. The glue, if anybody ever wants to get it, it's, it can be used on anything pretty much you spray it on both sides of the whatever you are putting it on whether it's plexiglass whether it's metal vinyl you spray it on both and you wait till it gets tacky it's made by 3m it's called the high strength 90 percent don't get the lower one now they do make one specifically for this product but i read online it's the it's the exact same thing it's a, it's just a glue adhesive made by the same company with a little bit of a different name I've got it flat I pulled it pulled it got it stapled down underneath I still have to pull it up get a little more down in here at the same time pulling it back to keep it flat on this side as you can see I got extra like I had on this a little bit more than I needed and I'm going to get that folded underneath, stapled down, boom, 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 all down there, and then I will go underneath. You don't want to go underneath and do your stapling first because then you won't have nothing to pull with, nothing to stretch. It'll be done underneath. I found that out the hard way because I did it. You want to do everything on top first and then work your way down underneath. It's just going to be a matter of what I pull over. There'll be extra I cut off, and after that, it'll just be stapled on. I'll throw the four screws on, get it back on, and bingo. Oh, no, that means I'm out of gas. Okay, so where were we? Everything stretched. Everything looks good. I've got it pulled into place, and when I get everything all tucked in and ready to go back together, we'll take one last look at it before I throw the chair on. Okay, people, 99% done. Pretty much got everything tucked in, stapled underneath. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. What do you think? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, you're more than welcome to. And if you have any questions about how this was done, where I got some of the things, where I got the idea, feel free, hit me up. 
I'm always looking to have a conversation. Anyways, um, I'll get this mounted and we'll do one little closing scene and time to jump in a game. Check out my fuzzy seat. All right, here we are. So what you think, folks? I think it came out pretty good. Pretty good. You know, the main reason I did this whole thing is I know it doesn't look like a flight seat other than it's got a notch in it. But it, when I layered the, the artificial leather, it, it still, you could see it. It just didn't, I'm too OCD to have stuff like that. So best thing was is to cover it up with something that kind of resembled what they actually put in these things. I think it came out good. It's all stapled underneath everything. Everything stapled first to the pad and then pulled underneath the chair and stapled again. So that bad boy ain't going nowhere. As well as right through the back. Oh, I'm all tangled up here. As well as right through the back and underneath. All I gotta do is put a uh, piece down the middle. I ain't going that far. You know something? I think I'll save my nickels and dimes and just buy a flight seat someday down the road. In the meantime, I think this is going to do fine. So, this about wraps it up, people. I, I, I got to get off because any minute the, the kid across the street on his 50cc moped with a coffee can muffler on it, he, he's trying to impress some, some girl. He, he's going to start revving it up and acting like a mental case so i take advantage of the quiet time yeah so this is going to about wrap it up for this video i'm looking forward to talking to you all on the next everybody have a great day peace